Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Eric and I like to read and today I'm going to be going over my top list of Marvel graphic novels that I own. So like I said in the intro, I'm going to be going over my favorite Marvel graphic novels that I own. As you can see, I have a whole shelf behind me of Marvel graphic novels and then I got DC over on this side. And that's just some of them that I have on the shelf. I have others in other places in my household. But anyways, this video is going to be my top seven favorite ones from the ones that I currently own and the ones that I have read. So this is not like the be all and all list. This is just my personal list of the ones that I enjoyed the most. So starting off that list, I'm going to start with Secret Invasion. I read this one back when it came out and it was epic. If you're looking for a graphic novel that's going to have a lot of intense battles and subtle like plot lines that come into play later on, lots of just different things happening all at once that kind of like cumulatively all come together in the end, this is one that you're going to enjoy and it is going to keep you on your toes. You will not know who to trust and there will just be so many different things happening that you're just like, you don't know what's going on, but at the same time, like you're loving every minute of it. Yeah, this is gonna be action packed. And they also just kind of announced that this is going to be adapted into, I don't know if it's gonna be a series or a movie, but I know that this is in their like phase five plan for Marvel. So that is very exciting. And that means this is the time to read this now. So now that I'm thinking about it, they announced Secret Wars and this is Secret Invasion. I'm not sure if it's the same thing, so don't don't uh, reference me on that. That might be wrong completely. But either way, you should still read this graphic novel because I feel like you will love it. And it's a lot of fun. Another one that's a classic and a lot of people loved is Civil War. I also really enjoyed Civil War. I did get this edition ripped by somebody that I let borrow it. That's okay, I forgive them. We already got to see this as an adaptation because they did it in the Captain America, the third movie was Civil War. So we actually got to see it on screen, which was so cool. And it was so fun to actually see it come into play because I read the comics like way before this happened. So like my little like inner nerdy heart was just so excited to see this adaptation come to life. And I must say that I have been pretty impressed with the adaptations through like graphic novels coming to life in the movies. Like I think they've been doing a phenomenal job with the Marvel series. And so I was really excited to see this. And it was really fun because in this one, there's the premise where it's like, you kind of have two sides. One side is voting for going with the government in enacting this law that makes superheroes reveal their identities. And that way they're kind of like on this registered like list of heroes. And then you have the other side who don't want to re reveal their identities because they want to keep themselves kind of like safe from others knowing who they are and still do their job as a hero to help people. And so it's like the two sides kind of coming and butting heads and coming together and having a big like kind of fight slash war about it. <laughs> so it, it gets really intense and it's fun because like the leaders are Captain America and Iron Man so two people that we really enjoy as heroes and now they're fighting against each other and kind of like drawing lines in the sand so it's a pretty intense graphic novel it's a thick boy but it's got lots of great content on it and the art style is pretty cool so it's like a newer art style it's not one of the more like vintage ones so if you are into like the nicer, newer graphics, then this will be for you. Not to like shame the older graphics. I still love like old comic books, the single issue ones that are just vintage. Like I love them. And I, I think I will always love them because that's kind of like where I started reading comic books. And that kind of like sparked my love for the graphic novel, like genre, I guess. So from there, like I just kept collecting. And I believe I will be an avid comic collector for like the rest of my life. So yeah, I like all the different art styles. It's really fun. It's very rare that I find one that I don't like the art style. The next one I have on this list is the first volume of Deadpool. Now you guys have seen Ryan Reynolds play Deadpool and Deadpool is just such a like ridiculous character. He's the Merc with the mouth and he's just always getting into the weirdest situations 
and dealing with it in his very like interesting way <laughs> he's such a fun character and i just i like following along with deadpool because you literally never know what he's gonna do he's so unpredictable that it just makes it such a fun ride and then you'll have other characters that pop in here and there that are well known from like other series so it's just always fun to like follow along i also love that he has like this sidekick named bob who works for hydra and he's always just like around and there to help out deadpool when he needs it and Deadpool like just treats him like absolute garbage, but it's just, it's just a really funny dynamic and you'll understand if you read it. But yeah, I just, I love the Deadpool series. This is just the first volume, but I have the first three volumes and this is the one that got me started on it. So yeah, it's one of my favorites. Next up we have Daredevil Yellow. And so I actually purchased this when I was in Paris. This was a school trip I went on when I was in grade 11, I believe. And I got this there and I was super excited about it. So this is actually a retelling of Daredevil's like origin story, but made as if it's like an action packed rom-com. So <laughs> it's actually pretty fun. I really enjoyed reading along with this one. It's also done by Jeff Loeb and Tim Sale, which these guys are known for Superman for all seasons and Batman the Long Halloween. Batman the Long Halloween is on my like top Batman comic books list. Like that one was so good. So that was another reason why I wanted to pick it up. And I've just always loved Daredevil. Daredevil has been one of my favorite Marvel superheroes of all time. So I just like following along with his story. And I am one of the rare people that actually enjoyed the <laughs> movie with Ben Affleck. <laughs> I know a lot of people hate that movie, but I still, I still enjoy that movie. And I, I think I will continue to still like it as cheesy as it is. I will say though, that I really do like Charlie Cox in the new version on Netflix as well. I think he does a phenomenal job as Daredevil. So yeah, I've just really liked the adaptations that we've gotten of Daredevil and I'm really glad that I do because he's one of my favorite superheroes. But yeah, this one was a really fun one. If you want like a twist on Daredevil that's not like full action and has some rom-com to it, then this is the one that I think you will enjoy. Next up, we have one that I feel like most people will find quite random, but it is Cyclops, A Pirate's Life for Me. And so this is actually following along with Cyclops as if his dad was a space pirate. And I think he's leader of the group called the Corsairs. And so it's following along with Cyclops when he's actually a teenager. I think he's about 16 in this one. And he's helping out his dad's crew being a space pirate going along in space and like doing different missions and stuff like that. It's really not that long. It's a quick read, but it was a lot of fun to like just follow along with Cyclops when he's younger and see how he deals with being in that dynamic of being like a pirate because he, Cyclops is usually like the leader of the X-Men and he's the one that's like very noble and kind of like does everything right by the books. So being a pirate, it's kind of opposite of like everything Cyclops believes in, which makes it an interesting storyline for me. So yeah, I did enjoy this one. Then we have Electra. I still have it in like the packaging and stuff. Um, so this one I really enjoyed because as many of you know, Electra is part of like the Daredevil world. So I liked seeing her in her own comic. And this one is following along when she is brought back from the dead and she is given missions by S.H.I.E.L.D. that she has to go on. And it's just kind of her doing this mission for S.H.I.E.L.D. but like deciding if she wants to actually do the mission for S.H.I.E.L.D. or do what she wants because Elektra has always been known as kind of like her own assassin. Like she'll do what she wants. She doesn't really work for anybody. She might seem like she's working for somebody but then she does her own thing. She's kind of like a mercenary. She's very similar to Deadpool but she doesn't have that sarcasm or weirdness that he does. She's much more serious. But I've always liked Elektra. I also like the Elektra movie with Jennifer Garner, which I'm sure a lot of people hate that too. <laughs> but yeah, I just, I've enjoyed her character and that's why I really enjoyed this comic book. And then the last one I have on this list is Wolverine Not Dead Yet. And so this is following along with Wolverine as he encounters an old foe from back when he was a spy. And so this old enemy that he's going to face off against has brought an arsenal of adamantium weapons that he wants to run Wolverine through with. 
So Wolverine is trying to protect his friends and loved ones by going to face off against this enemy, knowing that he very well could die because this guy has a whole arsenal of adamantium weapons. And so that's what the comic is. It's not very long. It's a pretty short one as well, but it is quite action-packed and a lot of fun. And this is the back image of Wolverine getting right into it. Also, I'm not a big fan of this writing because it's very hard to read. I don't know who thought that was smart. But anyway, that's just a design aesthetic. That's fine. But yeah, this one was a lot of fun. I've always been a big fan of Wolverine as well. And I do enjoy the ones where him and Hulk kind of compete against each other because I've always found that to be a very interesting like fight duo I guess <laughs> but anyways this one was a lot of fun and if you want like a quick Wolverine read I think you would enjoy this one and that's my list of top Marvel graphic novels that I have on my personal shelf now that list is probably going to change I can guarantee that I'm going to read more graphic novels by Marvel and I'm sure I will find some new favorite ones so I will probably be putting out an updated version of this list when the time comes when I feel like I have some more graphic novels that have knocked the other ones off of their rankings and yeah let me know in the comments down below what your favorite marvel graphic novels are because i feel like a lot of you like marvel i don't know if a lot of you read marvel but i know that a lot of you enjoy marvel because it's become such a big thing now in the entertainment industry and so if that is bringing you to the comics then i'm so excited for you because you have a whole world to explore but if you are an avid marvel comic reader already Tell me what your favorites are in the comments down below because I'm always looking to read more Marvel graphic novels and find new favorites. Anyways, if you guys want to support me, I have a Patreon and a coffee page, which I'll put in the description down below, as well as linked by my bookmarks. You guys know the drill. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that bell notification button so you get notified when I post new videos. I post new videos on Mondays and Thursdays. And until next time, keep on reading. Yeah.